Hey, this is Mike with 5-Minute Guide. This video is going to show you how you can keep your phone number forever by porting it to Google Voice. When you port your number to Google Voice, you make Google responsible for maintaining the number rather than your carrier. And uh, that means it doesn't matter how many times you change carriers or if you have a prepaid plan and you let your minutes lapse for more than 30 days or 90 days or whatever it is with your carrier, it doesn't matter. Your number will always be associated with your Google account and you can point that number to whatever phone you happen to be using at the time. So uh, the very first order of business is to make sure you have a Google account set up and that it has a password you're going to remember. You might not re-enter that password for three years, but in three years when you change carriers and you need to point the number to a new phone, you're going to need that password. So make sure it's a password that you remember. And I'd recommend using their validation services where you can, you can actually link it to your phone number so they can text you if you forget your password. Um, that's, that's a very valuable tool. So what you'll do is you'll just navigate in your computer on the internet to google.com forward slash voice. So if you've, if you've already set up a Google voice account, um, just come over here on the left hand side and click get a voice number. Uh, it says either I want a new number or I want to use my mobile number. If you use a new number, Google will assign a number to you and that number will forward to the phone that you have now. Uh, that's not what you want. What you want is I want to use my mobile number. That means your mobile number will now be associated with your Google account rather than your carrier. So you'll enter in your phone number and Google will check to see what options are available for that particular number. So we can see here that uh, there's two available options. I can port the number to Google Voice or I can set up Google Voicemail for an existing mobile number. All right, so what we want to do is port the number to Google Voice. So simply click port your number. Uh, things to understand before porting your number to Google Voice. The cost of porting is $20 payable through Google Wallet. So it's going to cost us 20 bucks to get this number moved over to Google. Uh, now your mobile phone service plan will be terminated when you port your number to Google Voice and your carrier may cha charge you an early termination fee. That sounds pretty terrifying, right? But it's not entirely true. Um, Every carrier is set up so that when you port your number, your service will automatically be terminated. But you can contact your service provider. I would recommend doing this in advance so that there's fewer surprises. You can contact them and say, hey, I'm going to port my number to Google Voice. I need a replacement number on this line because I don't actually want to cancel service. If you do that, usually the carriers will work with you and you won't have any termination fees or anything like that. It's just basically taking your number, moving it to Google, and creating a new replacement number on the carrier where your number was before. Um, now, you're probably wondering, why would I need two phone numbers? I'll have a Google number and my carrier number. But what's going to happen is you'll set up your Google Voice account so that it will forward any calls to that number to the number that you're currently using. That way, if you switch carriers, you can simply give Google your new phone number and it'll continue to forward the old number to the new phone. Um, this is really great, especially if you're moving to a completely different area. Um, there are certain areas where carriers just will not let you port your number. Uh, now, an added bonus to Google Voice is if you were to have multiple phones, you could actually have the one number forwarded to multiple phones. You can even set it up on a schedule where you say, all right, from 8 in the morning to 8 at night, it's going to go to my daytime phone. And from 8 at night to 8 in the morning, it's going to go to my nighttime phone. Something crazy like that. So Google Voice is really flexible. It gives you a lot of options. Um, so we're going to go ahead and check. We understand this. Once porting is complete, you will not be able to receive calls to your mobile phone until you complete the following steps. Oh boy. Big red words. Watch out for those. Uh, Google Voice is not a mobile phone service provider, so you must set up a new mobile phone service plan. That's what you'll be doing by creating the replacement number um, and request a new number. Once you've secured a new mobile service plan and a new number, you will need to add this number to your Google Voice account as a forwarding phone. That's what we were just talking about. So we'll check that. And more checkboxes will pop up to get us. You may be unable to receive text messages for up to three business days after the porting process is complete. So be aware there could be all sorts of issues with this for a couple of days. After a couple of days, everything settles down and life is good. All right, finally, your Google Voice number will be replaced by the number you are porting. So if you already had set up a Google Voice number, you can port over it 
um, and it will replace the one that you're that you had set up previously. Uh, it will remain on your account for 90 days, so you'll be able to make it permanent for a one-time $20 fee. All right, check this one. Final checkbox. I understand the risks associated with porting my number to Google Voice and want to continue with the porting process. All right, so we understand it's going to cost some money. We understand that it's going to terminate the service. We understand that we're going to need to create a new account or just get a replacement number with the old service provider and tell them we don't actually want to cancel service. And uh, there might be some weird stuff going on with text messages for a couple days. So let your friends know what's going on. Next, phone verification. Oops. Next, phone verification. We're going to call you at this phone number and verify your phone. Click call me now and enter the following verification code. All right, now, finally, in order to complete the port, we need to get the account number from the service provider, uh, which in my case is Verizon. Uh, that, that can be found on your account page on the Internet or on your bill. Uh, then you'll need the account holder's first name and last name and billing address and the uh, last four digits of the account holder's Social Security number. This is to verify that somebody didn't just, like, grab your phone and now they're going to switch your number over to Google Voice and steal all your phone calls. Um, I don't know why they would want to do that. Maybe they work for the NSA. So you'll put in all of this information. Then you'll hit Next Confirmation. There will be a confirmation page. Uh, we'll look at number four here. We're not going to go all the way through this. Um, and then you'll have your checkout page where you'll pay for everything. And then you just wait. The port process can take up to 24 hours, and you should receive some sort of confirmation in your email uh, from Google that the process is complete. You'll also need to make sure that you have another phone handy or that you can borrow somebody's phone to call your service provider once the port is complete, um, unless they've guaranteed you that they can set it up to automatically have a replacement number uh, put in once your number is ported over. So you'll need to, uh, you'll need to work that out with them, but uh, I always recommend calling up after everything is finished to make sure that everything is correct and you know that way you don't end up with a crazy bill in uh, in two weeks that you weren't expecting so once you've got that all completed um, and you've received confirmation that the number has been ported and you have a replacement number in place that's functioning properly uh, you'll need to go back into your Google Voice account again just type in google.com forward slash voice and uh, click on this little gear over here in the top right and choose settings uh, your Google Voice number appears at the top and then you can add phones by clicking add another phone. If you have no phones associated with it, it'll just say add phone uh, at the very top. So you'll give the phone some sort of name. Then you'll type in the phone number associated with that phone. Which this is probably going to error out on me because I've already got it set up. Um, and then you can choose whether or not you want to receive texts on that phone. Uh, there's also some advanced settings in here. You can um, get your voicemail here. Also, you can choose when it's going to ring, uh, always or never on weekdays, or you can use a custom schedule. Um, and same thing for weekends. You can you can block all calls on the weekends if you want to take your weekends off. Then you'd hit save, and uh, it'll it would send you some sort of verification where you would get a text message or you'd have Google call you and you'd have to enter in a verification number. Um, in my case, this number is already associated with my account, so it's a little bit mad at me. All right. All right, so cancel. So that's it. Once you've set this up, you have your phone number forever. It doesn't matter how many times you change carriers or if you go for six years without a phone. Once you get a new phone, you point your Google Voice number at the new phone number, and people can still call you on your old phone number. So nobody has to change their contacts again for 17,000th time.